Hello and welcome back, RC enthusiasts. This is your host, Tom Cogswell from Horizon Hobby and Spectrum RC, here to give you another iX20 instructional video. In this video, we're going to be covering a industry first feature, the capacitive touch switches on the iX20. Essentially what the capacitive touch switches do is when you literally touch a switch, it will tell you something. It'll either be a telemetry warning or a timer start and stop, things that are not detrimental that will not cause an effect on your aircraft, but you could use it to keep track of what switches are what, keep track of telemetry warnings, and so forth. All right, we're down at the bench here, trying to get centered up, tap on. So right now I'm on a heli model. So what would be a good one to use? I, I think dual rate is always a great example. So let's go ahead and set up a dual rate touch switch. Easy enough to do, you go to audio events like you would with any other audio related function. And there is a menu here for touch switch reports. That's what uses the capacitive touch feature. All right, we tap on that and we hit the plus sign to add a report. Go to this and we can choose the switch. I'll choose the C switch. That's normally what I use for my dual rates. And we'll go ahead and choose voice. We'll, we'll keep it as voice. So switch C in the top position. We'll say high rate. Okay, so we're gonna type in high rate. So now when we touch the switch, oh, C switch, high rate. the radio will say high rate. high rate. And then if I flip the switch high down rate. to here, and I touch it, it'll be mid-rate. And this is helpful when, you know, you're flying along and you have a bunch of different switches for different functions and you forget what position you're in and you don't want to flip the switch and try to guess which position you're in. If you don't quite remember, maybe it's a new model or you haven't flown it a bunch, you just touch the switch, literally just touch it, and it will tell you what position it's in. On here, you also have on release and on touch. So fairly self-explanatory, but when I touch it, it'll talk. Or if I switch it to on release, I touch it and then I let go like that, let go and she talks to me. Awesome. So you can use that for a lot of different functions. Let's uh, explore another function that you could use this for. How about timers? If you wanted to start and stop your timer and this one's really cool. Let's go ahead and hit the little thing that goes straight to the timer menu. It's enabled and we can change the switch here, throttle out. And we can choose touch left stick. That's kind of cool. So that throttle stick, touch the left stick. And when I touch it, you can see the little block under there will move. But to assign it to that position, we have to hit one. And then let's hit one time. And then let's say we want our timer clear to be on a different thing. How about touch the E2 switch. I like using that one myself. So when I touch E2, it'll reset the timer. All right, let's go back. So when I touch this stick, timer start. the timer is started. That's really cool. And then when I touch this guy, timer reset. the timer resets. I love that. So you can touch timer it because you're about to fly. And then if you need to, just touch the E2 reset. to reset or however you want to assign it. You can assign in that same menu any of the other uh, switches to touch and start and things like that um, or restart or stop your timer. And you can also set the uh, button, so the, so the I button, you don't even have to press it. You can touch it and it'll be a function or you can touch this as well. Almost anything metal on the radio you can use for this function. And like I said, you can't assign it to like, let's say drop your flaps or your gear. It won't work that way. It doesn't have any effect on your model for obvious reasons. You don't want to be able to accidentally touch a switch or something like that and cause something to happen on your airplane. That might be unsafe. And then on top of that, like I was saying, you could also assign a telemetry warning for that same function. So let's say if we go to custom reports and we add another report, and the switch is touch switch, say D. When we touch switch D, and we'll turn it on, we can tell it to set up a macro. And the macros are what we use to tell us a uh, telemetry value. Uh, let's say altitude. 
what is our current altitude. So, I don't have anything bound up right now, but theoretically, if I touch the D switch, dollar altitude not defined. Yeah, it just tells us dollar altitude not defined. It's not defined right now, but if it, we had it bound up to a telemetry receiver with an altitude sensor on it, it would tell us what our current altitude is. Really cool stuff. So that way you can assign different functions to a switch or you can assign different warnings to a switch and not have to have to flip that switch physically. I really like that. That's a cool feature. And like I said, it's a first with the iX20. And then on top of that, there is a way to adjust the sensitivity on your touch switches. The reason you'd want to do that is, let's say you, I don't know, let's say you have callousy fingers and it's not quite as sensitive to your touch. You can turn it up or down. So I'll show you guys how to do that. We'll go back. We're going to go to system settings. We're going to go to calibration. Press to proceed. And there's this one right down here that says touch sensitivity. So left stick, right stick, switch A, switch I, and then all the other switches, because all these guys are on the same capacitive touch circuit, whereas all these other ones have their own. Essentially, these numbers are the lowest, the least sensitive, and the highest, the more sensitive it is. And if you change a sensitivity and it seems like it's too sensitive or you just want to get it back to stock, you can simply tap on here and hit reset, or you can change it using the slider or make small adjustments using the positive and negative signs. I'm just going to hit reset, hit OK, and we're good to go. And that's how you use the capacitive touch switching feature and sticks on your iX20. If you guys have any other suggestions or comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and we'll be sure to get to them. And if you guys like this video, go ahead and subscribe to the Spectrum YouTube channel so that you can have a updated look at all things iX20 and Spectrum related. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.